In this Excel file, I have a pivot table and a pivot chart based on that pivot table. On another sheet, I have a pivot table that's from the same source data, but a different layout, and I would like a similar chart on this sheet. Now, I could create a new one, but I've spent a lot of time on this pivot chart getting it in the format that I like. So I would like to take this chart, copy it onto the other sheet and connect it to that pivot table. But if I look at this chart under pivot chart tools, click design. And if I click select data, I can see the data range, but it's gray. I can't make any changes to that. So if I copy and paste it, I won't be able to change this data range. Right now it's connected to pivot table one on the region pivot sheet. As a workaround, I'm going to copy this pivot table. So it's selected and on the home tab, click copy. I'm going to paste it into a new workbook. So I have a blank workbook here. I've got cell A1 selected and I'll just paste it there. On the ribbon now you can see that it says chart tools instead of pivot chart tools. So this has changed to a static chart. It's not connected to that original pivot table anymore. If I click on one of the series, I can see the label names and values instead of the cell references. I'm going to cut this chart from here. So on the home tab, click the cut command. And I'll go back to that original file. And on the other pivot sheet, here's the pivot table. I'd like it connected to this one. So I've got a cell below that table selected and I'll paste it. And it's still showing chart tools. So it's still a static chart. To change it, I'll go to the design tab click select data and for the chart data range I'm going to click on any cell in this pivot table you can see the reference to one cell and I'll click OK and now we can see that the labels have changed they are the same as this pivot table and if I go back up to the ribbon it's now saying pivot chart tools on the design tab select data and there's a reference to the city pivot sheet pivot table 2 so it's now connected to a different pivot table than it was originally. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.